The Nikon Z73 was supposed to be the next big leap in high-resolution mirrorless cameras, but something happened. Years passed, competitors like Sony and Canon surged ahead, and Nikon stayed quiet. Was the Z73 cancelled? Was it delayed? Or was Nikon secretly reshaping the camera into something entirely different? Today, we're breaking down the full story of what really happened to the Nikon Z73, why it took so long, what's changed behind the scenes, and what this means for the future of Nikon photographers. Let's dive in. The story of the Nikon Z73 has become one of the most interesting and controversial chapters in Nikon's recent history. For years, fans and professional photographers have been waiting for the next major update to the Z7 line, which originally represented Nikon's push into high-resolution mirrorless cameras. Welcome to my channel Tech Launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. The Z7 and Z7 II had already proven themselves as strong tools for photographers who demanded detail, dynamic range, and serious build quality, but by the time 2024 rolled around, the competition had shifted dramatically. Sony, Canon, and even Panasonic had released new full-frame mirrorless cameras that raised the bar with cutting-edge autofocus, blistering burst speeds, and innovations like global shutter and advanced AI subject detection. In that context, everyone expected the Nikon Z73 to arrive as a bold answer, a camera that would not only keep Nikon in the race but push it to the front. Yet what actually happened with the Z73 was far more complicated, and now that the dust has settled, it's worth taking a closer look at what really happened. At first, the Z73 seemed like an inevitability. Nikon's strategy had been clear. The Z6 line for versatility and affordability, the Z7 line for resolution and detail, and the flagship Z9 to showcase everything Nikon could achieve without compromise. Based on that logic, the Z73 was supposed to deliver a major leap forward in resolution-focused mirrorless photography. Rumors circulated about a 60-megapixel sensor, advanced autofocus powered by the X8 processor, 8K video recording at higher frame rates, and even a stacked CMOS sensor to bring the Z7 line closer to the performance levels of the Z9. For photographers invested in Nikon's Z system, the hype was electric. Social media, photography forums, and rumor sites were flooded with speculation, wish lists, and debates about what the Z73 needed to succeed. But as months turned into years, something strange happened. The Z73 didn't come. Nikon focused instead on cameras like the Z8 and ZF, both of which gained strong attention for different reasons. The Z8 was praised as a mini Z9, delivering flagship performance in a smaller and more affordable body, while the ZF appealed to enthusiasts with its retro design and surprisingly powerful internals. The absence of the Z73 became harder and harder to ignore. Professional photographers who had been waiting for a true high-resolution update began to wonder if Nikon had changed its strategy altogether. Was the Z7 line being phased out? Was Nikon shifting its focus away from resolution-centric cameras toward more balanced, all-in-one models? Or was the company simply struggling to deliver on the technological demands that a Z73 would require? Behind the scenes, the reality was a mix of all those factors. Nikon had indeed faced supply chain challenges during the pandemic era, which disrupted development timelines. But more importantly, Nikon realized